pop. Six. Squish. Uh-uh. Cicero. Lip shits. Lip shit. The dirty bum, 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 bum. These bums, they had it coming. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I'll bet you you would have done the same. You know those guys that have those habits that really get you down? Like burning. Burning like to chew gum. Oh no, not chew. Pop! So I come home from work this one day and I'm feeling really irritated and I'm just looking for a little bit of sympathy. There's Bernie lying on the couch, drinking a beer, chewing. Oh no, not chewing. Pop it! And I said to him, I said, you pop that gum one more time. And he did. So I took the shotgun off the wall and I fired two warning shots into his head. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have heard it, I'll bet you you would have done the same. I met Ezekiel Young from Salt Lake City about two years ago, and he told me he was single, and we hit it off right away. So, we started living together. He'd go to work, he'd come home, I'd mix him a drink, we'd have dinner. Ah, it was like heaven in two and a half rooms. And then I found out, single, he told me. Single my ass! Not only was he married, oh no, he had six wives. One of those Mormons, you know. So that night when he came home after work, I mixed him his drink as usual. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. He had it coming. He had it coming. He took a flower in his pride. And then he used it. And he abused it. It was a murder, but not a crime. So I'm standing in the kitchen carving up the chicken for dinner. Not my own business. When in walks my husband Wilbert in a jealous rage. You've been screwing the milkman, he says. He was crazy. And he kept on yelling. You've been screwing the milkman. And then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I'll bet you you would have done the same. Mit kiri shaitanit, as mundo kota kiri, let him na tota, a feshi met in me le tota ma feyat. Den nemi gaz en ajat on vayok, no tu de mer bonja uncle Sam hoit in tetem, pop out a barento shake and me yarazni, den me tetem meg. Did you do it? Uh uh, not guilty. So, my brother Joey and I, we did this double act, right? And my husband Charlie used to come along with us. Now, for the last number in our act, we used to do 20 acrobatic tricks in a row one, two, three, four, five, split, spread equals, backflips, flip flops, one right after the other. So, this one night, the three of us are in the Hotel Cicero, boozing, laughing, having a good time, but we run out of ice. I go get some. I come back. Open the door, and there's Joey and Charlie doing number 17, the Spread Eagle. Well, I was shocked. I completely blacked out. I don't remember a thing. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they was dead. They had it coming, 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 they had it all along. He didn't do, he didn't do, but if he done it, he didn't do it. Wrong, 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 wrong. I loved Al 
the lipshits more than I could possibly say. He was a real artistic guy, sensitive, a painter, but he was trouble. He was always trying to find himself. He'd go out every night looking for himself. And along the way, he found Frank, Travis, Michael, Adam, Rick, and Rick at the same time, Andres, Baron, and <laughs> Valerie. I guess you could say we broke up because of autistic differences. He saw himself as alive, and I saw him dead. He had it coming, he had it coming, he only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I'll bet you you would have done the... You pop that gun one more time. Single my ass. In time. Not guilty. Number 17, a spread eagle. Autistic differences.